when you go to a trade show to work, what are the performing conditions? What are the what are you going to find yourself in? Well, it's I mean, if if you've ever been to a trade show before, it's you know a huge room, right? You know, high ceilings, uh, and then you have booths, and then you have different types of booths, right? You have uh, the, the classic uh, smallest booth you can have is really a ten by ten, right? Ten feet by ten feet. Well, oftentimes, kind of a, a pop up. You know, background, right? So that's a very small booth, not only 100 square feet. And then you can go linear to that, so you can go 10 by 20, 10 by 30, 10 by 40, right? You can be long, narrow. Uh, usually, the step up from a 10 by 20 or something like that is a 20 by 20, so it's a square. And probably that's what I work most commonly, just because. Uh, and and when you uh, when you work for a trade show for a company, an exhibiting company, um, the if they have a 20 by 20, they probably have budget for you, you know? So that's one of those things that if you, let's say you were in a show and you were kind of walking around prospecting or something, well, don't waste your time with the 10 by 10 guys because chances are they just, you know, spent their whole budget just to be at the show, right? So 20 by 20, so if you can imagine that. So now there's different setups that can happen too. Um, a lot of trade show magicians like to be aisle view meaning they will set up on the corner, so they'll have often a little ta table, <coughs> excuse me, little table, and then they'll have a, 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 maybe a little stool or something, that a little stand that they're up on, so they're up a little bit higher. Sometimes they have a little sound system, and they're playing to just a few people that are in the aisle that'll gather around, and they can see on the table, and, and they'll give out giveaways and that sort of thing. So that's kind of one style of, of doing it. Then there's more of a, a theater style, and it's not really means you have a theater, but it's meaning you're taking over more of the booth. You're using more space. Perhaps there's a, a stage that you're on. Uh, oftentimes in theater style, there'll be chairs. So there'll be um, chairs or stools or something that people can come sit down. And with theater style, sometimes they have crowd gatherers, which are usually women that they're hired to say, hey, would you like to come watch the show? You get a t-shirt, sit down at the, you know. And that happens with presenters, too, With the, when there's no entertainment, just kind of people you know, uh, presenting technical information, they often need to bribe people to come sit down so that there's the, on the chairs. When people are sitting in the chairs, it's nice because they're probably not going to go anywhere. They're going to watch the whole show. But the danger of the chairs is uh, you don't, you can get more people in the same space without chairs. And um, chairs sometimes attract, you know, uh, lazy, tired people and maybe not necessarily prospects. And the other thing about the chairs is if you don't fill all the chairs, it doesn't look like you're doing that well. Right? It's kind of a sign of, of uh, failure almost. Um, but if there's no chairs, there's nothing to compare to. So there, there's, there's that kind of thing. So, uh, so sometimes I have my stage and nothing else in the booth, and then I just bring people into the booth and kind of uh, put a big crowd there. Um, so that, the, the, again, going to the conditions that you're performing in, oftentimes you're almost surrounded. So magicians sometimes have trouble with that. Um, you, know, you, you, you probably have a sound system so that you can be heard. Um, and you want to get up as high as you can so that more people see you. That's something that some people don't really take advantage of because if you're only, if you only, I thought I put that on silent. Hang on. Um, if you if you only have, uh, if you're only up on a you know a foot riser, that only allows like two three rows, and then people can't see what you're doing. And especially if you're using a table. So uh, I use a two foot high stage, and I don't use the tables, and I get people real close so people can be really high, or I can be really high and seen from far away. Um, 